Hi, welcome back. So we have review question 5.4, and um, it's uh, information put together from a census bureau, and they decided to collect the information asking the question, are you a Hispanic or not a Hispanic? And then they also allow you to identify with more than one ethnicity or background. So this was the data they collected. Um, so that would be one in a thousand identified as both Asian descent and Hispanic. So let me fill in the data here. And it is important that you write these things on your paper because you can't write in your textbook. And the way we work out the questions, you want to play around with these numbers with highlighters and understanding the groupings. Uh, so first off, the question is, is this a legitimate assignment of probabilities? So our rule of probabilities is um, a probability would need to be between 0 and 1. So we're looking through here saying to ourselves, are all of these between 0 and 1? And it looks like that would be yes. And then we also would need to verify if they add up to one. So this would need to add up to one if I totaled them all up because we do want the list to be exhaustive. And so although it wouldn't be exhaustive, let's say necessarily, without the other, this would be a Hispanic Asian, Hispanic Black, Hispanic White, and then if anything else falls into the category of other. This should be exhaustive. So as we add these up here, it looks like I've got 10, 19, one. okay. So not a lot of people, it looks like only about 14 to 15% of people identified as Hispanic. And usually it seemed like they identified as, if they identified as Hispanic, predominantly as white Hispanic. Now looking at people who did not identify as Hispanic, we're gonna verify that these add up. Okay. And of course I typed them in wrong, so let me just double check here. And I got 0 0.851. Perfect. And these two add up to one. And so this would be mutually exclusive and exhaustive. Looking from this column, you're either Hispanic or you wrote not Hispanic. And they do add up to one. So yes. Now the next question is, what's your probability of not being a non-Hispanic white? So what I'm hoping you're picking up on here is the complement rule. So it's actually easier to figure out, well, what's the probability of being a non-Hispanic white? And as I look at the table, that would be these people standing right here. So that would be, if I talk to 1,000 people, 674 out of 1,000. So that's 674 out of 1,000, and that's why they wrote down the decimal 0.674. So this is the probability that you are um, white and not uh, identify yourself as Hispanic. So they wanna know what's your probability of not being a person that classified himself. So that's going to be one minus this amount. And that's how they came up with that um, in the back of the book. So again, I'm making these videos not because the answers aren't provided, but maybe you're not sure exactly where those numbers came from. So I'm hoping this brings a little bit more clarity. Now they're asking the question, what's the probability of white or Hispanic? And then they're asking, what's the probability of white plus Hispanic? 
And why are they, why are these not equal to each other? So that's when it's fun to manipulate with these numbers. So let's look at the probability of being white. Okay, so the people that are white are right here. So it looks like if I talk to a thousand people, this is 674 of them and another 139. So I wanna add those together and I get um, 813 of them out of 1,000. So if I talk to 800, uh, 1,000 people, 813 of them out of 1,000 would, um, would classify themselves as white. Now they could classify as something else, but just, just plain old classified as white. Now also looking at what they've asked, they've asked me to add together the probability of Hispanic. So those would be um, these people here in this box. Now I've already added that up, so that's a little handy. I already have that number written down. Uh, these are all the people, so it was 149 out of the 1,000 people, so 0.149. And so they've asked us to just, without thinking about it, they've asked us to just add these together. So I'm happy to do that, 0.813 plus 0.149. And I end up getting uh, almost everyone. So the challenge here is I'm, I don't actually think that mathematically it sounds like this is what they want, but if I classify white or Hispanic, then I'm including anybody here in pink and I'm including anyone here in yellow and I accidentally counted these people, 139 people out of 1,000 twice. And so I believe what they're looking for here is actually the, um, there's two ways to calculate that. I can do, um, or the probability of white is the probability of white or Hispanic would be the probability of white plus the probability of Hispanic, but I need to subtract these that are both white and Hispanic. So I kind of already have that here. It was 0.813 plus 0.149, but I need to subtract the 0.139. So as I do that here, I get actually the the number that makes more sense when I think about um, when I think about these things as actual people. So this is actually the probability of white or Hispanic. Now you could also think of this as everyone I've highlighted here is white or Hispanic. So you could also just add up each of these. One, two, three, four, five. So that would be these four groups of people and then that one. And I actually already have that number. So 0.149 plus the 0.674. And I still get this number. And so I've had students answer it either way and either way is correct. So why isn't this number equal to that number? And I think it's pretty obvious from the picture because probability of white plus the probability of Hispanic would count the white and Hispanics twice. And so that's why this one is much higher. Now, let's go to the next question. 5.5. It's all about baseball, baseball and tacos. So let's at least uh, maybe not complete this question, but let's get a good start on it. So it says um, the Arizona Diamondbacks give away free tacos at a game if they score six or more. In this season, they won 41 of their 81 games. So I'm gonna write one and didn't win. And so that little symbol just means not win. And I had that symbol a minute ago, hopefully you picked up on it. Hispanic, not Hispanic. Okay, so the Diamondbacks win and they did not win. Um, they tell us that that bit of information, they won 41 of their 81 games, okay? And so using the complement rule, that tells me they must have not won 40 of their home games. Then we also learned they gave away 30 taco, 30 
away free tacos at 30 of their 81 home games. So this would be a taco giveaway night and 30 out of the 81. And so then there must have been 51 games that they did not give away tacos. They're also telling us that in 26 of the games, the Diamondbacks both won and gave away free tacos. So this is the number we want, the overlap. Amazing, okay. So now everything else fills in nicely in our table. And so the black numbers are either the totals or the data we got out of the problem. And kind of working backwards with the complement rule, we can find our numbers here. So that would be 36 and four. Using the complement rule, this would be um, 41 minus 26 is 15. And again, add horizontally just to double, double check because if these numbers are wrong, everything is wrong. Okay, looking good. So now we can answer almost any question that they might ask of us. So the first question they have here for review question 5.5 is make a Venn diagram. Let's make a box, two circles, and it really doesn't matter to me which one is a W and which one is a T, but we know the almond is the easy, quick one. We know in 26 of the games, they both won and um, had the tacos. We also know this one should go out here because it lives outside. And so in 36 of the games, the people were super bummed because they both didn't get tacos and they didn't win the game. So they went home sad people. Check out the next video.